Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on eye creams. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So before I get started, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way to all of my returning subscribers. I love you and thank you for returning. If you're new, I am Bridget and on this channel, I do skincare, makeup, sprinkled in with a little bit of lifestyle. So if that is your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to to have you join the family all right so we all love eye creams right i know i know there are some people who do not hands down think eye creams are necessary they think they are cash grab etc etc but i i love them i use them and my skin loves them um, i typically try to pick an eye cream that has something different from what my serum offers or my moisturizer or even my essence so whenever you're picking out a uh, eye cream if you notice that the eye cream has the exact same ingredients as your moisturizer or your serum or your essence well you probably uh, don't need it try to look at that and determine if it's actually offering you something different so anyway these are the eye creams that I use to you know help keep uh, dark circles at bay kind of help the fine lines and wrinkles keep them at bay just under control to where you know my face um, is looking as best as it can look uh, at my age so let's get into the first one all right so first up i have md solar sciences and this is their md restore eye gel comes in a little package like this and this one is really nice this it has a gel formula and i like using this particular eye cream at night only because I feel as though it's a little bit heavier even if I try to use a thin layer of it so this one does claim to help with dark circles fine lines puffiness I think it does a real good job of helping with the fine lines just helping them appear to be less noticeable and as well as the puffiness I feel as though it helps some with that the dark circles, I feel as though I am able to help keep those at bay with this. And that's probably because it has a powerful blend of collagen. And we all know that collagen is a really good ingredient to have in any of your skincare, particularly eye cream. This particular eye cream is not comedogenic. It is fragrance free. And you all know that fragrance is one thing I cannot stand. I hate it. I, I don't like to see it in um, skincare products, but this one does not have it. So I'm super excited about that. And the way that this eye cream helps with dark circles is its ingredient of niacinamide. So, so it kind of has a really good hodgepodge of ingredients to help all of the issues that you may have like dark circles, fine lines and wrinkles, puffiness, just all that good stuff that we love to hate, right? So anyway, this is a really good eye cream to try. All right, so next up is Clarins Total Eye Lift, and I absolutely love this one. I love using this one in the morning because guess what? It claims to give you an eye lift in 60 seconds. Yes, a, an eye lift, a real eye lift. So yes, uh, yes and no. I do see some difference in 60 seconds. In the morning, my eyes are mainly puffy. So that's kind of like my main gripe. But with this particular eye cream, all of the ingredients, or I think it's 97% of ingredients are gonna be natural. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this particular eye cream is that it does contain a fragrance. The fragrance is listed low on the totem pole, so um, it's not really any anything that's going to affect me uh, that much. But, but I also like this eye cream for the hydration. Um, it does a good job of moisturizing my eye and just making it look plump and it lasts all day. So even after I wash my face at night, I can see still see that my eyes are very moisturized and hydrated. It's really interesting. I absolutely love this one. This is a pricier one, but I think that it is well worth the price, especially because of um, all of the ingredients that it gives you. It's really, you know, working over time to give your under eye exactly what it needs. And again, that's going back to what I said, look and see what that particular product is offering. All right, so next up is the Elements pro collagen i revive mask and comes in a little jar like this and i've used this so many times in past videos and i know y'all are probably sick of seeing it i love it it serves as a mask or you can just wear it under your makeup guys this one plays very well under
under eye makeup. A lot of times when you put make uh, skincare on under, let's say your concealer or you don't wear a concealer, it could just be your foundation. Some of this, some of these products don't play well with others. This one plays extremely well. It does an awesome job of addressing puffiness. And that's one thing that I always have in the morning or after I get up from a nap is puffiness. And if you wear it at night and you know, just wear it as a mask when you wake up in the morning, your under eye is very, very beautiful. Um, it does help with any issues that you might have with lines and wrinkles. It also helps with dark circles as well. And I feel as though all of my issues that I have under my eye are really kept at bay with using a cream like this. I love it because it's like multi-purpose. You can, it serves so many purposes. You can use it as a normal eye cream. Um, you can use it as like an eye primer or you can use it as an eye mask. And it's very nice. This is another one that's kind of on the pricier side, but I do feel to me that it's worth it. And as soon as I run out, I will be purchasing another one of these. Okay, so this next one is a Saturday Skin Avocado and Date Seed. This is the uh, wide awake brightening eye cream. So here's the deal with this one. I'm talking about all the ones that I love. This one I didn't love so much. I felt as though it really didn't do anything for my under eye. As far as a moisturizer, I feel as though once I applied it or immediately after I applied it, I did feel some moisture or it did feel soft and supple. But however, as the day progressed, that feeling left. I never saw any of the decrease in the puffiness. I just felt overall it was lackluster in like doing all of the things that it said it was going to do. And I just thought I would state my feelings. And this would be another one that I will not be repurchasing. I do have some left in here. Here, I'll probably just use it as a, a hand moisturizer or something like that. But to continue on to use it as an under eye uh, brightener, no, because absolutely nothing happened with this one. All right, so next up is by Polish Choice, and this is the Clinical Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream. And let me tell you, you talk about a hodgepodge of good ingredients, you know, set to target the under eye. I am so loving this. So first off, this one does have retinol. It does have 0.01% of retinol and you want to be careful when you're wearing your retinol. Um, I would just encourage you to wear this one at night, um, even though I think that this one says you can wear it during the day. I I'm not sure I'd have to have it in front of me, but I would encourage you to wear this one at night. It does claim to have four forms of vitamin C and let's just get real. One form of vitamin C would work for me, but four forms. I I mean, can I have some more please? It also has two forms of peptides. So again, all of this formed together is going to help the issue of fine lines and wrinkles and also help with the darkness around the eye. And also um, compared to other eye creams, this one is reasonably priced. And I also think that on the Apollo's website, it's on sale right now. Right, so the last one that I wanna talk about is Viverso. And this is the Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8. This is is the travel size of it. I'll try to put a picture of the regular size that you get. So this particular eye cream has a cooling effect when you apply it. It's really nice. Your eyes don't feel dry. This particular eye cream does play really well with your makeup so you wouldn't have to worry about your concealer creasing or your foundation or whatever makeup that you use. So the Retinol 8 is a stabilized vitamin A complex that is supposed to be eight times more effective than your your standard retinol. This would be one that um, they say that you can use during the day. It would be okay, but I would recommend using it at night or maybe stay out of the sun when you're going to use it. For me, this particular serum does a really good job of addressing puffiness and just kind of decreasing that look of any fine lines that you may have. As far as the dark circles, it is going to keep that at bay, but do I like this? Yes. Does it help me keep all of the issues that I have at bay? Definitely so. Um, if you haven't tried this, I would say try to get a sample of it, like a smaller size, because uh, the larger size is on the pricier side. I think that you would really enjoy it, especially if you like those type of eye creams that are cooling to the eye. So that's it, short and sweet. Those are the eye creams that I wanted to talk to you all about. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these eye creams, and if so, how they work for you. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until my next next video smooches <sighs>